So the two major files where Virtual DJ stores its information is the settings XML file and the database.xml file in the documents folder. So documents and Virtual DJ. And similar on Mac, this is Windows. And here we have the settings XML file and the database XML file. If we look at the settings XML file in an editor, like Notepad++, we can see it stores all sorts of stuff, like all uh, the options, what the selections are for all the options, how the browser is currently set up, and also at the top we saw that this stores, stores the current uh, audio configuration, all sorts of things like that, all stored in an XML format. If we look at the database file, so in the database XML file, we can see that we actually has a little song entry on each track, where it stores the title, the author, the year, the first scene, and the path for the file, and all the POIs, which is uh, positions for like auto mix, stuff like that, and also for Q points, if it has any of those. See here, I've got a Q1 and a position. Then if we have external drives, there's also a database.xml file on this external drive. For instance, in this case, it's just more USB stick. So if I go into that, you see we have a few MP3 files here, which are actually full mixes. So that has created a Visual DJ folder on the external drive, which also has an XML file. And that XML file holds info for the tracks that are on this external drive. So if I now analyze one of the tracks on the external drive, like slow beats, which does not currently have any length and BPM information, showing that it has been analyzed yet. That run. And then of course now I see the length and the BPM. And if I shut down Virtual DJ and I go into the database XML file on the external drive, you can now actually see that the slow beats entry has a lot of information, like all the POIs from the beat grid. It has the BPM now, it has uh, the length and the key, and so on and so forth. And if I then restart Virtual DJ, you can see that it has stored it and it has retrieved it on restart. So now I try analyzing one of the tracks. Like that, so it goes analyzed just fine. And then I change this back to hot cues. And then restart virtual DJ. And then I see that it did not get stored. And this went back to no inputs instead of hot cues. So whatever I just did, didn't get stored. So the file rights issue is a pretty common one and it can be a little bit different on Mac and Windows while this happens. Uh, it could be that you have logged in to your operating system using a user uh, that is another user from the one you installed Virtual DJ. It can be something regarding virus protection or it can just be a, a general error in your, in your security settings in your operating system. Uh, so you need to figure out why you can't write to these files. In this particular case, I cheated a little bit and I simply, on the properties, 
set them to write protected. So if I disable that and I log into Virtual DD again, and for instance, change the line input to hot cues, and I do a new analyze for BBM, and I restart. Then the storage of the settings and the information for each track, including the newly analyzed one, gets stored again. Another thing you might experience is that when you start Virtual DJ, it looks brand new again, like the very first time you open the software. So you have no tracks, you have no set correct settings, it even changed back to maybe the starter layout. So why did that happen? Well, that's often because the two files were missing. So if I go back to the Visual DJ folder and the documents, you can see that I cheated a little bit and renamed the settings file and renamed the database file so that on startup, Visual DJ couldn't find any of them. So it actually automatically created a new database XML file that are empty or almost empty now. And if I shut down Virtual DJ, you can see that it has now also created a new settings XML file with the settings that's exactly like the default ones when you start the software for the first time. But if I now remove those two, and bring back the right ones. And open Virtual DJ again. Now it's back to normal. I have all my, my analyzed tracks and I have the settings that I have set up myself. Well, if you have log files, you often see it as either of the two previous cases where you either don't see any changes you make to any of the files or the skin or whatever, or uh, the software looks brand new when you open it. Well, why does that happen? Well, often it's uh, because of an, an old process that's hanging. So here I go into my task manager, could also be called the process manager, differs a little bit with, between Mac and Windows. And in here, you will sometimes see an old app hanging, or in some cases, it's listed as a background process down here. So, so if you kill that, and restart Virtual DJ, it'll usually go back to normal.